Renault La Planche at Landing Club. So Landing Club is an online platform that facilitates consumer lending. So it's an alternative to traditional banks where a bank would collect deposits on one side and then turn around and make loans. We've created this direct flow of capital between investors and borrowers. And the benefit of doing it that way is a lower cost system, a lower cost operation than the traditional banking system. And by operating at a lower cost, we can lower interest rates on the borrower side and generate higher return for investors. The idea came to me um, after I, I sold my previous company and uh, I took a, a sabbatical or what was supposed to be a, a, a one year sabbatical. And I really intended to visit my friends, play soccer, play music. And I had the idea of Landing Club two weeks into that one year and started working on it and being obsessed about the ID. This ID sort of took over and there was this almost irresistible impulse to dig deeper and, and get to the end of, of that thread and see what's at the end. What gave me the ID was I was reading a credit card statement and realized that if I was going to carry over the balance to the next month, I would be paying 18% interest rate. And the same day I was opening up my savings account statement I was earning 1.5% interest rate. So it felt like a big spread between 1.5% uh, the bank would give me and 18% I would have to give the bank for what seems to be the same money. When you're an entrepreneur and you see a big spread, uh, you start thinking a more cost-efficient way to allocate capital than the sort of centralized banking system. And really an online marketplace seemed like, like a good idea. Every business makes a spread and that's, that's how they make money. Um, but they, I think they, what was really apparent here was that a lot of the spread was caused by high operating expenses, high operating costs of the banks. And that these operating costs were justified at the time the system was put into place because you needed an entity to centralize capital and redistribute that capital. With the internet coming along and with behavior online slowly changing and people becoming more comfortable first making payments online and then later on doing banking online and investing online, then you had all the ingredients to make the banks unnecessary and then drive away a massive part of the spread by lowering the cost. The potential impact in terms of affordability of credit, in terms of availability of credit for small business owners, um, and, and how transformative that could be to society, that, that became sort of too big to not do it.